Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, I'm going to take you guys into uh, the Audio Effects folder inside Logic Pro. Uh, we're going to basically open up a plugin today. We're going to talk about it, give you guys a little heads up on it, um, uh, show you guys the options it has to offer, uh, and show you guys what kind of effects you guys can get out of it in the best way possible to get the effects. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Audio Effects. Uh, please keep in mind, uh, if you're a beginner to the software you and you do see all these plugins, these are all at your disposal. These are all at your disposal. Uh, disposal, sorry. These are all free. You can use them whenever you want. Uh, they basically come with the software. So basically, today we're gonna go into filter. We're gonna go to Evoc Twenty Track Oscillator. I'm gonna open it up. It's gonna look a little something like this. It works the same way as uh, the last plugin we opened, the other Evoc Twenty plugin. But uh, what I what I want you guys to do is open this up, throw it on a track. Uh, put attack all the way at zero. Put, uh, you can leave the release how it is. Um, uh, leave the signal at uh, basically one dB or, or minus one dB. Yeah, leave it at one dB. Uh, sensitivity. You're gonna play around with this knob after you after you uh, play around with um, the pitch quant uh, quantize and the strength of of the of the effect that you want going on. Uh, basically, um, throw it on a track, play around with these knobs. Keep Remember, keep the attack at uh, zero, the release where it is. Play around with these knobs. See how sensitive you want it. See uh, how much pitch quantize you want to add. This is what's truly going to give you the effect that uh, that you're going to notice out of the plugin. Uh, also, the, these bu these buttons won't do much for you, but these, these buttons will do the most for you. So this this will basically control your plugin. The rest is how much input and output you want, and and uh, what kind of uh, uh, frequencies, how fast you want to attack it, how much release you want on it, how much UV detection you want on it, and how much sensitivity you want on it, and also how much stereo width you want on it. So so uh, this will basically pan it out into stereo mode. Um, basically, the best way to to do it is to open it up, try it out, see what kind of effects you guys can get out of it. If you guys can't get a quite a good crack at it later on, I'm gonna show you guys how I use it and how to get the best optimum results out of it. But for right now, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I've been beneficial, and please subscribe.